Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hello, and welcome to Your Beer Sucks. I'm John, and this is... Andrew. And that's... Miguel Sanchez. And uh, we're going to split a beer, and then we're going to discuss it. Each of us is going to pass a judgment of sucks or doesn't suck. And then in the end, majority rules. So let's get cracking. Okay. Beer number one. We have Terrapin Hopsecutioner. Oh, wow. Terrapin's... Be careful of cracking that thing open. The hipsters are going to be coming. Well, it's not a PBR, though. So. That's true. Hipsters love their, 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 their PBR, their hoppy beers. Actually, hoppy beers aren't a hipster thing. They're just a what, like, the layman thinks that well, like, well, yeah, it's craft beer is. Craft beer, oh, it's craft beer, hoppy. Oh, what kind of craft beer do you like? You know, it's like, what kind of IPA do you like? You know? <laughs> okay, so what does the brewery say about Hopsecutioner? Well, you love like... hops. You ask for hops, and Hopsecutioner delivers. This killer IPA earns its title by being brewed with six different hops to create an aggressive yet exceptionally well-balanced beer. Expect citrus and pine on the nose with a beautifully bitter finish. Pine a strong style. malt backbone keeps the bitterness in check. We brewed this IPA for hop lovers. You may lose your hop head over this one. I love hops. You know what? It's got kind of a, um, you know, like a clean, freshly caked urinal bouquet you can, to it. You can smell the hops for you, sure. Yeah, it's like, it smells I mean, like urinal cake. No, see, I don't think that it smells too bad. I mean, I know you don't like hops, but... You can taste the it's, hops. It's, it doesn't smell terrible. I kind of like the way it smells. Well, it's because you like hops. Yeah, I do like hops. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about a well balanced beer though. This is like no. like like the hops are like super duper overwhelming. See, I don't even I like overwhelming hops. I like Imperial IPAs, but this is this is overwhelmingly shitty hops. This is like a uh, yo bro, we heard you like hops, so we hopped your hops. So and you then could we put more hops. Drink happy beer while you drink happy beer. Yeah. That's yeah, that's I mean I mean it's better than you know, American macro brew rice lager bullshit. It's actually better than the last time I had this. I've had this yeah. before, and it was devastatingly awful. But it's just. But uh, this is this is drinkable. It's just not good. This, yeah, it's kind of like if the Nazis won. And it's too bad because I really like Terrapin. Like I love their uh, rye IPA and like the rye squared. Yeah. But I'm trying to. This is out. just. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the bottle here. I don't know what went wrong with this. I do. Because they, they know what they're doing. IPA, that's what went wrong with <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's just not balanced in the... No, in, yeah, I'm going to have to hit the crackers. <laughs> you um, have to hit the crackers. But the, Too much hops, not enough beer. You in know, the sense of like, you know, it's like there's like so much hops there. And like, you know, again, I, I don't mind that, but... There's not enough it's, beer there, though. And but like for instance, like uh, to throw one out there that I really like is uh, Great Divide Hercules Double IPA. Yeah, supremely hoppy, overwhelmingly hoppy. It's got this wonderful juicy grapefruit smell as soon as you pop open the bottle. But it, this is, they're not wrong. It's got it does have more of a piney smell. Yeah. Than citrusy, and I just don't care for that and honestly it's this fucking beer is everything that's wrong with the world I hate it I can't I, I, I can't even be objective you know I don't like IPAs but I can't even be objective this is fucking terrible uh, I'm gonna have to go with Mike on this one this thing this, this beer sucks this beer really sucks I'm still going to drink it, though, because it has alcohol in it. <laughs> it is definitely improved from the last bottle I had of it, which was about two or three years ago. But despite the fact that I'm impressed that they have improved the beer, it sucks. It's kind of got a pineapple mouthfeel. You know what I mean? Is like, you know how the pineapple has the ass in it that, like, eats your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> It's got a very chemical mouthfeel. I was trying to figure out what was going on with the bottle, like oh, and the finish, oh, man. It's it's a it's a it's a turtle wearing 
an executioner's outfit holding brewing tools. Like, oh, I'm not, I'm not oh, that's just, what like, that is. I'm yeah. not just like putting man, it on, man. The finish actually makes me go. You see, I don't know. You know if I'm, I'm kind of like, what finish? It's gone yeah. pretty quickly. Shit. Nope. Nope. It's fucking terrible. Nope. That right. sucks. Verdict? Fuck, it sucks. Horrible. Sucks. All right, next beer on the chopping block is uh, the Oberon. Oberon. Was that by Bell's? Bell's? Bell's Oberon Ale. I think the only other thing I've had by Oberon other than this is the, the Kalamazoo Stout. It's the one with like, like the old guy and like a hat and like trucker sunglasses on the front of it. See, Oberon is a wheat ale fermented with our signature house ale yeast, mixing a spicy hop character with mild fruity aromas. The addition of wheat malt lends a smooth mouthfeel, making it a classic summer beer. Made with only four ingredients without the use of any spices or fruit, Oberon is the color and scent of a sunny afternoon. We'll see about that. Four ingredients, huh? Four ingredients. And John, you have had this in your fridge for some time. This has been in my fridge for about two years. So this but is fridge aged. This is fridge aged Ooh. for about... Yeah, this I got this and... I 2014. 2014. I, I bought that for a. I guess that was. Digging the nose. Oh, yeah, it still smells good. Very citrusy nose. Yeah? That smells like a beer. Oh. Yeah, that's. That smells really goddamn good. That's not bad. Citrusy. Yeah, it definitely smells like a, a normal wit that has. Like. Uh, orange peel and coriander in it, although this doesn't. That's fucking bullshit. There's no way. Mm. American white, an American wheat ale with spicy hop character, mildly fruity aromas, and the color, this and the scent of a sunny afternoon. It's got some uh, saison characteristics too. Hmm. I wonder if that's because it's been like because normally, like I've had this beer before and it's very it's like super duper. Quit. It's like almost like. Yeah, it's, it's. How much cocaine had you done at that time, though? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's, a, it's a valid concern. Uh, zero. Okay. Zero cocaines. Okay. It has aged in the way that a really good Belgian ages. So yeah, it's got like some, I was, some whiny characteristics. I was a little bit worried yeah. as far as like the aging process goes because it's like uh, it's, it's been sitting in my fridge for a minute. But you know, this is this is actually pretty good. It's five point eight percent alcohol, so I mean, you're pretty good as far as that goes. Yeah, I bought that for like a Memorial Day party. I was I was making ribs, and but for whatever reason, that never ended up getting consumed. It's yeah, unfortunate they, because the you, beer. Oh no, the, the, the ribs got eaten up like. Almost immediately. Okay. But you probably had a bunch of assholes over who were like, man, what's that? Huh, that's lame. I want to have some PBR or something. I brought some, <laughs> some Budweiser. I brought some High Life. Uh, some uh, Miller? Miller? <laughs> uh, actually, no. It was um, it was my girlfriend at the time and a, well, okay, the one guy, the other people who were there were beer amateurs, like total like... Beer amateurs? Beer matures. beer matures who who had basically no good taste in beer at all, but they didn't they didn't know what was good and they didn't know what was bad, and I think I had like a fairly solid mix of stuff there. I don't remember what, exactly what else I had. I think I had oh what was it? Um, it's like a it's like a pirate themed. It was like a multi pack from them. Oh, loose cannon, loose cannon. Yeah, yeah. I it was a uh, it was like a multi pack from them. And there was just, there was some stuff in there that wasn't too bad from what I remember. I don't remember like the names of the beers or anything. This is a good beer. This is pretty. Aye, it is. I'm gonna go ahead and say right now that this beer doesn't suck. I agree. Does not suck. It doesn't suck. Definitely better than the Hop Executioner. Man, talk about too many hops. <sighs> Man, you know 
that one it the hops don't smell too bad they're, they're i mean i kind of like the way it smells it's decent but man on the palate they just it's way too harsh it's like it's, it's very harsh and it's and it's toilety a bit this this is much better this than is that. refreshing not only in terms of this beer is refreshing but just in comparison to the previous beer this yeah, beer is, this a is a breath good, of fresh air this is a good uh summer and or september weather nowadays beer yeah since since we're having this whole uh september 25 97 degrees at mm-hmm. 4 30 p.m in birmingham this it's brutal hopefully Bullshit. it's supposed to get cooler later i thought well eventually Thank just because of the, the orbit of the earth Eventually, it's got to get better. Well, isn't I mean like the the near term, the near term, the the forecast is for cooler weather. Okay. Instead of like ninety five, ninety six, or ninety eight, like ninety one, ninety two. No, yeah, like, I mean, like like next, like next week is supposed to be like you know, mid, like like I thought I like like high seventies maybe, like seventy six, seventy eight. Yeah. yeah, at the end of this week, but then it goes back to nineties for uh, the first week of October, oh, or like eighty nine, ninety. Jesus, so. fuck. Yeah. So yeah, you could just and you know what? All of the stores are starting to filter out their IPAs and their wits and get in all their autumn beers. And you know what? It's still IPA and wheat beer weather. This is good. I don't think it's ever IPA weather. <laughs> but wheat beer, yeah, I can, I can do that. Wheat, uh, it's, yeah. I got a little sediment. Oh, yeah, you did. It's all cloudy and junk. It was right. chunky. Really? Like It's good. Yeah. Chunky? All right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Bell's Oberon. Verdict? Does not suck. Does, Does suck. not suck. Does not suck. All right. All right, beer number three for the evening is the Abita Amber. Oh, God. Abita is a Munich-style lager brewed with pale and caramel malts and German pearl hops. It has a smooth, malty, slightly caramel flavor and a rich amber color. Abita Amber was the first beer offered by the brewery and continues to be our leading seller. Look at this. These people look like they're, like, burning in hell or something. (laughs) (laughs) Abita, or Amber is Abita's most versatile beer for pairing with food. But... It's it has been voted like, best like, beer in numerous. <laughs> Listen to this shit. Okay, okay. Listen to this shit. This beer has been voted best beer in numerous New Orleans reader polls and is used frequently in recipes. Yeah, what do they know? Of great Louisiana shit. You know what? They can they can make beignets and Cajun food, but are you going to open whatever. it? Or or you? Oh just god! Scared? I fucking hate a beer. You see, I don't. Here's the thing. I don't hate a beer. I think they're tremendously overrated. As in, like, people think, like, oh, yeah, man, that Andy Gator, that's some real good beer. I'm like, mm, no, no. Granted, I don't think I've had a Abita's Amber, so we'll see what all the hubbub's about. You know what the amazing thing about Abita is? I don't like the way it looks. The the thing about, yeah, yeah, we don't normally even talk much about how the beer looked. Man, why am I giving myself more? Fuck that. Here. Yeah, get this you, guy drunk. Yeah, you can have the rest of this. I've never had this one, but the most amazing thing about a Abita... Here is my. That's, that smells like beer. Here's my first memory of a beta. Whoa! Oh my god! Like people talk about piss all the time, <laughs> wow. dude. Seriously, piss. Yeah, that does not have. Oh a my good... god! Like like old piss like at a fucking like sports stadium. That is like like a sports stadium. <laughs> like at bathroom. a fucking latrine at like an old yes. style. Yes. Is it just yes. me? Like a this, this, like a hundred year old baseball this stadium. Is, this is exuding <laughs> piss. Is it just? Whoa, me? man! Yeah. Like this? Are you sure and this isn't piss? Yeah, I mean, the, ethically, like legally, they couldn't I get mean, away with got, like, bottling piss. It's got like that funk to it, like something that's off. That's like that like, smells like, like a public restaurant, like food that you wouldn't eat. This is like a really, really, really skunky beer. Yeah, I like, I wonder... but you know what's weird? I smell like berries in it. That's really weird. Once you get past the piss, do you smell that? It's like almost like raspberry. But now they do, way. they do make Faint that way. fucking raspberry beer that sucks dick. But yeah, I'm just oh not... my god, that's not but, that's see, not good. My... 
I'm, I'm afraid to taste it. The, the first, my, my first memory of Abita was buying an Abita sample pack that had multiple different kinds of beer. That's so pissy. And it had lagers and ales of different kinds, plus the Purple Haze. And what purple was amazing, oof, oof. what was amazing about it, though, was other than the Purple Haze, every single beer in that sample pack tasted the same. And you know what? If your brewery is putting out lagers and ales that taste alike, you're fucking something up. Yeah, this is... Like, this is probably how the tip of my dick smells after a night of drinking. What the fuck is this? This doesn't even taste like anything. This it doesn't... smells horrible and then tastes like slightly sweet water. Yeah, this doesn't, like... I don't really know how to describe it. Like, it's like what someone who hasn't had beer before of what they think beer tastes and smells like. God, it smells so fucking horrible that I'm not drinking anymore. Fuck this shit. Like, it's... I don't have the words. Fuck them. This is hard. It's to... so incredibly watery. Like it has like no body at it all. It lacks character in all regards. It except just... for except for the body odor. Except for the <laughs> yeah bo. It stinks of the like a motherfucker. It's like an average looking road whore. You know, it's like there's nothing average. Looking. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's nothing worth noting about her at all except for the body odor. Yeah. The thing that kills me is just the... <sighs> Methanol? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not even brewed right. <laughs> God, that stinks. That is so fucking skunky. I mean, seriously, like, that just that's not just, like, piss. That's, like, pissy, dirty dick. All right? <laughs> and you know what? This... <laughs> and you as know what? the owner of a dick, yes, like... mine has been pissy and dirty before. Oh. It smelled... Like this. You know, and the thing is, some of our beers, we, we do age, but this one has not been. I bought this yesterday. Maybe this was, like, sitting on the shelf in, like, the pig room. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that going to make it better? <laughs> Dude, it can't improve it. There's nothing it can do. What's the, what's the ABV on this? It's like four and a half. Oh, but that's probably why. This is probably, like, sitting... Susie wouldn't fix it. Like I mean, this is just... like people probably know that this beer is bad and it's been sitting in like the supermarket <laughs> cooler or or not even the cooler it's just been sitting wherever it's been sitting for like years and like no one's touched it and it's just like gotten naturally skunky because four point five it's that's not going to age well that's not that's not high enough alcohol content for it to really age well yeah that's... you know what this company can fucking sue me I don't care. <laughs> They fucking suck and they should not exist. Like, do they make... You guys have had more of their stuff. Do they make anything that's I worth can't, existing? I can't say I've had an Abita beer that I, that I was really like... I mean, I think it's giving me a fucking <laughs> headache, too. I um, can't it probably say... has, like, skunk-ass alcohol in it. It's probably... They probably, like, pour the tails <laughs> from a still in it or something. <laughs> you know, I, um, I've had now, what, seven Abita yeah. beers... And the only one I ever liked was the Purple Haze, and that was a decade ago when I had not developed any sort of a palate at all. I don't like Purple long, Haze. Long I before it. I got to the point where nothing satisfies me almost. But um, uh, this continues the tradition of just being shitty beer from Abita. I don't, I don't know why. I, I, I mean, know. I, tr I gotta try something. D uh, uh, you know, no, I mean, that's the only better? thing we've got on set is like fucking crackers. I'm like, God. I'd stuff my fucking dirty underwear in there to try to help this guy. <laughs> I mean, this is a fucking abortion. This is fucking terrible. Like, this... I don't like IPAs, yeah. but I could drink, if it was free, a well-crafted IPA. This shit, this shit, this is, no. This is an amber. This is, this is something that's more okay, like so, up your alley. So not only... This is fucking horrible. Not only do we have a unanimous verdict of sucks, but I think that in the question of drink it or sink it, Sink it. Sink it. Jesus Fuck this beer. Christ. Fuck. I struggled. Fuck this company. <laughs> and Jesus Fuck Christ. this beer. Oh, man. Uh, man, well, you're going to get us in trouble. Man, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Miguel, it's the internet, man. Miguel Sanchez, okay? If you, hey, if you meet anybody that likes this beer, you tell them that Mike says they're a dickhead. And you probably can't trust them because they have terrible taste and probably more than just beer. All right, oh. that, all right. That beer fucking sucks. There's just, there's, just, sucks. Sucks. there's just, there's just no question about it, man. Like we should write 
poems and songs about how bad this fucking beer sucks. Ep- epic poems. Yeah. Epic poems. It would be like Vogon fucking poems. Yeah. I mean, it, this isn't like bad like have Bud like a- Light is bad because it's like this is somebody that claimed to be trying to make They're trying. Beer. They're trying to make a good beer. But like if you're buying like Bud Light or Coors Light you know it's just like eh, we're just making beer because people are going to drink it. Yeah. What's amazing is not the worst beer I've ever had. 